So this is a chest rub and uh, sorry that's backwards. Um, before I continue, if I forget to say anything in this video, I'll write it in the words under the video or make another video. Um, we ended up with this for, we ended up with several jars of this and I, I, no one else in the family is using it or using it very fast so I've been trying to use it and um, you can kind of see that as I use it I sort of swirl my finger around and it gets kind of cratered there in the middle and it's kind of around the edges but um, I um, have used it in a couple of ways one is to put it up my nostrils and it softens mucus that gets up there and I recently I had been putting my index finger in there to get some on there um, when I so I kind of run it around and I try to get it on the back of the finger as well because when I go up in there I want to get all around inside the nostril and so the back of the finger will hit this side of the nostril and the front of the, the pad of the finger will hit this side and that way it'll get in there because that nostril can form mucus anywhere um, so to soften with this rub you have to get the rub everywhere now I end up with a little of this on my finger and I don't know if this is lazy or gross but I kind of clean it off in my hair um, the hair kind of is soft and yielding so it can penetrate because the the stuff can get into little ridge a little ridge here and uh, I don't want to get it on other things particularly on the keyboard um, I don't think it hurts anything being in the hair it's clean um, it might work a little bit like hair gel uh, the smell is I think the smell is kind of nice it's like a eucalyptus type smell some people think of that smell as kind of an old person smell I think um, well I am pretty old for one thing um, but it's it's kind of funny that we do because I don't know you wouldn't have to think of it as an old person smell it could just be an interesting or pleasant smell it's kind of minty um, another thing I have been doing I was putting my index but there's certain positions I hold my I don't know when I hold this for the camera it seems easier it might be easier to put the thumb in there I didn't think the thumb would fit comfortably up the nostril I thought the nostril was a little too small but actually the thumb fits well in there and it's kinda comfortable to run the thumb around um, so I did that and now again I got it on both the front and the back of the thumb and uh, I'm kind of thoroughly trying to cover every surface inside there. There's a little place towards the front where it, I think the opening kind of narrows a bit. And I push up in there kind of like that and rub it around. And now kind of wipe it off. Um, and I think it's good. I don't want to waste this stuff. There's probably other uses for it. You maybe could use it anywhere. You'd use Vaseline. Um, it would smell more than Vaseline. Um, but I don't use Vaseline that often either. Um, then I also 
use this for a hand rub. Um, like a hand lotion, sort of. Um, and I think that's probably okay that it has oils in it, like any hand lotion. Is it a perfect, is it as good as a hand lotion that was made as a hand lotion? Probably not. Um, now I'm sort of bending these. So the here I'm getting it off the palms of my hands and then I kind of bend the fingers to get well up around the fingernails, get that off especially. But even even the fingers going up. Um, so that's uh, that's a couple of ideas that could relate to other things. I would say I wipe other things in my hair. Uh, if it's small amounts of things that aren't too gross, um, I'll do that in the kitchen too, because when you cook or make food or chop food or whatever, you might occasionally get small amounts of liquids on your hands or even even not so small. And I'll just wipe it in my hair. Um, I wipe it kind of thoroughly in there to break it up good. Um, but it seems to work out. It, it's not like I end up with really large amounts of things in my hair. Um, so uh, I did make a video years ago where I would wipe stuff down on the on my socks. Um, more probably not the foot, but the part of the sock that goes up by the ankle around the ankle. And that was a good idea too, because um, those are usually concealed by the pants, and whatever you get on there generally comes out pretty well in in the wash. Um, this is a little easier. It's not. I don't have to bend over to the socks. And I kind of like. I kind of like when things aren't totally perfect. Like I could have my hair totally clean, nothing whatsoever in it, and that's okay too. But I do somewhat like having the uh, little traces of different things in it. It just seems a little interesting somehow. So keep, so I'm sharing it with you as an op, as options for you. Um, this, uh, this, this chest rub actually is a little bit past its expiration date. Um, but it, it's kind of hard to throw it away. It's actually like a year past its expiration date. Um, I don't know what that means in this case because it's still, I don't know, I don't know, I'd have to read about what is even, they call it medicated chest rub, reading on the jar, I don't know what the medicated part means. Um, maybe you lose some kind of medicated part, medicated effect, medical, I, I don't know. But in my case, I'm just, I'm still getting whatever benefit there is from the oils. Um, it does soften the mucus, I've definitely noticed that. Um, so I'm okay with it. Um, I just, I kind of just like rubbing stuff in my hands and nose. I mean, it just feels good to rub and kind of rub around in there. But part of that, of course, is because you feel like what you're rubbing on is good for them. Um, let's see, if you like this kind of content, subscribe, rate, share, etc. Because um, I think YouTube will show the videos in better focus. 
And for one thing, and that makes them more enjoyable for everyone to watch. And then comments are great because they give me new things to think about and, and anyone else who reads the comments new things to think about. Um, I think in my mind I think people might be concerned if they put stuff in the hair that it would smell bad. I should say that this is tiny amounts of things that I put in the hair even this rub, it gets very thinned. Um, well, now that I'm making the video, uh, I rub it on my hands and then I rub it in my hair, but the whole point, I mean, I guess the point was to have it on the hand, so I guess I am rubbing some off on my hair, and I lose some of the the benefits. But I think some stays on the hands. But I think maybe it's still a really small amount in the hair that probably it dries out and doesn't smell bad. Um, I mean, if you don't like that smell of, of eucalyptus, um, and food, I can rub the oh, tiny amounts of, small amounts of food in the hair. It's just when you're working, and I'm not sure what the situation is there, where, where I'm cooking, where I, I mean, where I'm preparing food, I'm not sure why I end up with a little bit of food on my hands um, while I'm preparing, preparing, while I'm chopping or whatever. That food that gets in the hair, it's going to dry out also and not smell too much. I mean, I guess it will to some degree spoil. Food in the hair will spoil, but it's such a small amount. I don't think the odor, I mean, spoiled food people would think of as a bad smell, but it's really a small amount, so I don't think the odor is going to be too, too annoying. But to me, as long as it's not too overwhelming, it's kind of, I find it kind of interesting to have different smells coming off the hair, even even maybe if there were a trace of even spoiled food, that wouldn't bother me as an odor from the hair. I never smell my, I never can smell anything in my own hair, um, so I don't even know if there's any smell. Um, I uh, I tend to run my hands through my hair a great deal during the day, so whatever's on there maybe gets kind of moved around, kind of run around all over, kind of gets moved around and really diluted, but it's already started out extremely diluted. Um, well, You'll have if you go to use this idea, you can consider these ideas, these aspects, whether you think it's going to smell bad and how bad, and whether that bothers you or you're okay with it. <laughs>